Here's something odd. It's an aroma machine used for setting themes in themed environments by creating a sort of a continuous diffusion of aroma into the air. And this one was made by a company called Smoke Design Limited. I don't think they're about anymore. But uh, it's different. One of the reasons I've got this out to open it is I want to see what I did inside it. Because this originally, in its original form, it had a 240 volt fan. It was really quite noisy and slightly rattly. Um, and I replaced it with a 12 volt fan and used the heater inside as a resistive ballast, a, a current limiter for the fan itself. So basically speaking, you've got a little cover that slides open here and you've got a crucible inside and a heater block. And you put uh, a scented oil into this, a uh, chemical aromant. You put the cover over and you plug it in. I've got the hoppy here. The hoppy says uh, 129 milliamps, 252 volts. Oh, that's quite a good voltage. Over a quarter of a thousand volts at the moment. Excellent. Uh, you need to power factor because it is mainly a uh, resistive load. And the power is 32 watts. Most of that is the heater, with the fan being a very small percentage of that. Okay, that's us seen the general design. Let's take it to bits. There are other types. This is a uh, the thermal uh, diffusion type one. You also get Venturi-based uh, aroma units that diffuse a fine mist of the vapours, the chemical flavour, va flavours and vapours into things like air ducts. Uh, but this one was just a wee standalone unit that, could, that just blew it into the air. And the air is basically, it's sucked in through these vents at the back, uh, carried across the top of the heater block where the aroma is coming out, and then it's blown out through the fan at the front. Okie dokie, let's uh, open it up. So... There are other means of diffusing aromas into the air. If you go into a supermarket, you occasionally get the smell of lovely, freshly baked bread from the bakery at the front. And there's a common misconception that that is chemical aromas. And you do get uh, chemical aromas that smell just like baked bread. But in reality, in supermarkets, they often have an aroma fan. And the aroma fan has its own duct and it's in the bakery. And if they're having a good time in the bakery, as in not burning stuff and making a terrible mess, they can choose, once the bread's ready to sell, they can choose to turn that fan on and it puts that lovely aroma out to the front of the shop. This, however, would be used for applications. Say, for instance, if you had a themed attraction, you could have this putting out a themed smell. Or it could be used for advertising purposes to put out a, the aroma of a new scent or something that was being released. Let's see if we can get this top off. It's quite a tight fit. Why, Mr. Screw here? I can see a little screw here, but I don't think that's uh, holding it shut, is it? Oh, maybe it is, maybe it is. Oh, the whole heater's coming out in this. Okay, dokie. I can't get that screw over there, so I'm going to have to lift it off with the heater. There it goes. Very simple inside. There is my modification. Oh, that's a very simple modification. Uh, the heater is... I'm guessing it's a heater tape. Oh, it's a heater wire that has been spiralled round this and then wrapped in tape round this sort of aluminium core. This looks like it's been a custom spun component. Aluminium spun or aluminium spun. There is the fan, and here's the modification I made. I simply put a bridge rectifier in series with the heater and then put the fan across the bridge rectifier because this limits the current to about uh, just over 100 milliamps. And it means the fan actually wants more than that, so it doesn't uh, quite get up to the full 12 volts. But that's good because you don't want too much air coming in here because it could potentially keep the heater block too cool. This uh, reduced the volume from this quite significantly. Uh, there's not really much in there, is there? There is a heater and there's a fan. Okay, tell you what, I'm going to set up the other system now, the other aroma diffuser, and show you a Venturi system. I've got a black background, so I've just used this momentarily just to tame the exposure down a bit to give it something to look at. So here's the concept behind the Venturi systems. The simplest Venturi system is in the case of this unit here, which I've just got to the side, a glass one. 
it uses a piece of capillary tubing that is tapered. It's basically, they probably took one bit, heated the middle and then extruded it out, but then cut it. And they end up with a tiny, tiny little orifice at the end here and here. And air is blown in from this uh, tube. And because of the Venturi effect, it actually pulls liquid up this tube and it sprays out the top of that. But in reality, when it, as soon as it gets to the top, it is sprayed against the side of the glass. But in doing so, it shatters into lots of tiny droplets, big droplets and small droplets. The big droplets just uh, carry over onto the glass or fall down into the pool of oil again. But the smallest droplets, because there's a continuous flow of air through this, they get wafted out through the top of the uh, venturi chamber. Now the ones in industrial applications, they tend to use metal venturi components, it's a bit more industrial. But this is a, a small one that I got in France a while back, and I can show you the uh, mechanism inside it. So I'll just put that out of the way. It gives a good indication of how it works. So here is the tube which just stops short. It's actually supported by this tube at the side. I'm just going to roll this round so to the, the oil because it is oil, aroma oil in it, that actually, it kind of, if I don't roll it around there, it just forms little droplets in the side. But um, there's a tube, and as the air is blown in through this tube from this plastic pipe, it draws the oil up and sprays out the top, and you'll see it dashing off the side of the chamber here, but you'll also see wisps of vapour coming out the end. So I shall uh, bring the pump on. Regular to the channel with a very good memory, you may recognise this as having appeared before. So it's plugged into the pump. So you can see the oil spraying against the side there. It's being shattered into tiny droplets. That is kind of visible, isn't it? Yes, it is. And out the end of it, uh, it's not super visible. Let me take the exposure off and that should brighten that up. Uh, you'll see that a, a vapor is coming out the end of that. Oh, actually, I have to tilt it back so that it can actually get a continuous oil feed. And that is an ultra-fine atomized oil, which would put the aroma out into the air. Um, another way they could do that these days, if I put this one to the side, I shall unplug it, because otherwise it gets quite noisy. Uh, this one's a very clever design. They've basically got an aquarium-type air pump, and they've uh, put a grommet in the top of the sort of... I suppose that was just an, an air inlet. Uh, but then they've put a grommet, closed grommet, so you push this in and uh, then the hose goes down to the side. It's a very clever design. Sorry about the, it's going to be hard to get a decent exposure level when it's so bright uh, on a black background. The other option these days could be, and I will tame it down for this, could be using the ultrasonic -y type system that blows out the jets of uh, liquid ultrasonically. But the downside of the ultrasonic approach is that it uses tiny, tiny little uh, pores. And as a result of that, although it puts a good quantity out, they're going to be much higher maintenance. They're going to block more, which is why the Venturi system is pretty much indestructible. You know, it's just basically metal or glass or plastic components with a... Uh, that you can just basically clean out. You can actually, the holes are big enough that you can actually put a bit thin pin in and actually clean them out if they get blocked. Um, but that is the principle of these aroma diffusion systems. It's just basically putting a cloud of the aroma oil or glycol-based carrier into the air and that's what it uh, spreads about for a sniffing. Uh, so interesting stuff. This is quite smart. I remember I was working in France and I saw this at Val de Europe a shopping centre. They had them in uh, a row of them in a window just putting out aroma all the time. The place was stinking and uh, this was uh, the last one they had in stock in the shop. It's quite nice. I have to be careful of it. I don't want to break it because uh, I don't know where I'd get another one of this style. The fact it's all sort of handmade out of glass. It's very neat. But there it is. The heat and uh, atomization via the Venturi atomization of aromas into the air for chemical theming purposes.